switch. Um, okay, so this time we're going to be looking at this position. Uh, and the question is, how do you respond as white to this extension? If you just jump, um, then that's really not that good because you've kind of, it feels a little bit forced and it feels a little bit inefficient, right? So now black will play here, um, you know, expand the bottom maybe, or make it clearer, I guess, right? And black has a very nice position at the bottom. So just jumping is a little bit passive and not efficient. Now, Yunshan talked about why this move, when it's here, this position is uh, not bad, but difficult. Maybe he said bad, I don't really remember. But difficult for, I think it's difficult for white to play. But when it's here, it's a little different. And why is that? Well, actually, white has a nice probe. White can uh, probe here. So now, if black answers solidly, then white can jump. And now, it, the bottom side is a little different than before. You know, if you play something normal looking, now white can aim at this type of move, which aims at cutting in the corner, right? So if you play like this, now it's a little bit tricky, right? Now black has to connect, otherwise um, white will cut. But it's not clear entirely if the corner is going, well, in this case the corner will be okay, but this kind of Aji is really frustrating for black, right? You could also jump down here, now black has to defend, and now white can pressure this group. It's actually harder for black to establish territory on the bottom because there's a cut here. Mm -hmm. So, maybe black doesn't connect. Uh, on the right side. Maybe black defends here. Uh, or here, maybe. I don't know. Then you can cut here. Of course, uh, let's make it simple here. Now black will take. Black, of course, won't Atari this way, right? Two stones is too good. Now, even though there's a stone here and it's aiming at invading um, at one of these points, it's not that effective because white took two stones. So instead, black should Atari here. Now, you might think, okay, white extends, and black goes here, then white goes here. This is great for uh, white. Now you've defended the aim of this move. You've defended this point. So you can Tenneke. You can play somewhere else. If black comes in, you just go under, connect under. It's easy. Or you can kill it, uh, depending exactly how strong black is out here. Um, but actually, what about if black plays here? This is a little difficult. If white takes the corner, which white should, then black will come out. And now it's kind of hard. Black can aim at a lot of different points. Black can aim at attaching on here. Black can aim at attacking this group, right? If white jumps, then black will defend. Um, but this group is weak, this group is weak. You kind of have some Tessuji stuff to settle. But the whole group is still floating, and the corner is very small, and black profited a lot here. Um, so I don't think it's that great for white. White has to spend another defensive move somewhere. Not even sure where, really. Here. And then black approaches, or moves somewhere else. And this corner is not very big. So hard to say this is really that good for white. Um, of course, if there are more stones on the board, it could be different. but. This case. So actually, when you cut on black Ataris, white should just descend. When white descends, then black takes. And now you've effectively dis defended uh, this area, so you can Tenuki to some place else on the board. Okay, the next position I have is going to be from a game I played uh, a few days ago. And this is going to be about not necessarily how to win, how to, not necessarily the best move, but how to kind of win a one game, the best move for winning, not maybe not the best move for uh, like, taking advantage of the board. Although I think it is for both, it's like kind of critical point. Anyway, 
Um, so I'll just run through the game I played quickly. So this is uh, as black and white played um, this Hana, which you can't play because the ladder is good for black. So white made a mistake, and then he tried to fix it by playing this strange extension. And we kind of have this weird uh, shape. I played this one because uh, if I play here, there are some tricky variations, like this one, right? And then I could take. So I didn't want to deal with that, so I just played here. Um, and then white came out, and then I jumped, right? I want to take care of these stones, and I'm aiming at coming back to disrupt the bottom. White defends the bottom, but it's still open. The corner's still open, side's still open. I take care of my center group, moving out. Um, I don't want to play here because there's a potential weakness left over later uh, that I don't want to deal with. So I play farther because if I want to come into the bottom, it's likely that this will get stronger, which means that this weakness will be exploited. Uh, white defends in a very strange way. I think white should have played here or here or somewhere else. Probably not somewhere else, but this maybe one space back. This is kind of strange. Uh, so I took the corner. Um, I think black should have double hunted here, or white should have double hunted. That way, whoops, white could take these two, which would at least work well with the bottom and not make it kind of strange. Of course, I would prefer black because black has, you know, moved very fast across the board uh, and got in nice positions. But white extended. Um, and then white attacked this group, but actually it's fairly easy to make uh, sabaki here. And then white did this. And the question is, where do you play now as black? Do you think the center group needs more attention, or do you think it's good enough to take another big point somewhere? And if you do think the center group needs attention, how do you defend it? Okay.